Hello everybody, welcome back to the Maxi. Right, well, there have been my slave cylinder, which we all know because that came a little while back. I just put the pipe on there loose at the moment. Um, had some black uh, pipe put over the top of it for some reason. Obviously it was getting hot and they were worried about the red pipe maybe melting. So I just tidied it up and uh, it had just insulation tape around it. So what I'd done was I just put some cable ties around it just to make it look better. So that's that. Then we got our new slave cylinder come. That has took ages to turn up. Um, I didn't go for the metal top one. Not being funny, they, somebody was asking well, nearly 60 quid for one on eBay. I thought it was a bit pricey. This was just a, I suppose it's a pattern part. But the number on the side is exactly the same as the one I took off. And uh, this was a little bit more cheaper, uh, around about 35 pound. And then with the postage on top as well. So can't spare everything. But I mean, a lot of people said I could have, I could get just service kits to repair them. But the trouble was my top up here was all completely broken there was nothing left of the metal so that's the reason why I went for a new one of them and that was completely sea solid but I'm gonna try and see if I can strip up the old ones down and uh, clean them up and get replacement seals for them and then I'll keep it in um, then I got this I got to clean up a bit more and just give it a lick of paint I'm still not happy with um, the way they welded this on there for some reason obviously the bar wasn't either long enough or something like that. i don't know but um yeah that's gonna that, that's got to be done all the other bits and pieces are in here but, um, yeah so as you can see the all the nuts bolts and stuff like that as you can see the cap was completely just completely broken so I couldn't bother with it I just thought sod it let's just get new um, for the price of it and just might as well just buy all pretty brand new uh, so I'm gonna crack on get this fitted today unfortunately I don't know if I'm gonna get it bled up today because uh, I've got nobody here to help me because um, everybody's gone back to work now so I'm on my own so um, oh, hopefully my youngest I'm hoping my youngest have come home a bit earlier today because um, I think he's only doing 8 hours and he starts early in the morning to finish reasonable time usually does 12 hours like his mother but um, there I reckon he'd be home a bit earlier so it might be get him to help me bleed the break up uh, break this clutch up to get it to work and uh Still looking for parts to get the dynamo done. Uh, I've ordered some bits and pieces off the internet. Um, big thank you to everybody who's tried helping me through Facebook on the Maxi site. Big thank you to you, to you all. You're you're all nice people uh, with all your comments and all that, telling me and well looking yourself actually to see where I could get the springs to hold the brushes on inside the um, dynamo. Um, I managed to get something so obviously that's on its way so now I've got to wait for that to turn up as well now so one thing after another but, uh, let's uh, crack on and get this uh, fitted and I will come back to you in a short while okay everybody right well it's fitted right that's all done down there on the pedals And it's all fitted in here and all done so it's all on there gave the rod a good rub down and just gave it a little look of silver paint probably a waste of time okay so that's all on there all i got to do now is put fluid in it and pump it through but like i said i've got nobody here at the moment so whether or not youngest uh comes home in the next 10 20 minutes if he doesn't then i know he's going to be working on and he's working on and doing 12 hours <sighs> 
so which means I don't know when I'm going to get time to get this bled up because uh, I'm on my own and now the miss has gone back to work it makes life a little bit difficult for things like this um, but we will find a way of doing something so right there we are that is it that's the fact as far as I can go with it for the moment so basically done what I can so the only thing I can say is like I said a big thank you to everybody out there who subscribed I mean we've now made it way over 200 subscribers and I'm really really chuffed I didn't think I'd get this far but you know especially with me rabbiting on so much the way I do um, but yeah a big 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 super duper thank you to all of you I really got to try and get this car saved bloody wood lace go on find a new home go on go on bugger off find a new home go on that's it go on the floor to find a new home uh, yeah so I want to say a big thank you to everybody and uh like I said, I really do want to get this car done. I mean, it will get done. It's just going to be a little bit of a slow process again. I mean, all this will come off and it'll all be painted. So all we're doing at the moment is just get the car up, running. And then things like this can be done at a later date and tidied up. I mean, I've got to sort this bodged up fuel fuel line out at the moment as well. So that needs to be done because that was just done going the the lady and her boyfriend done that so I put a couple on there but it didn't work then they've obviously tried to put more on there to try and stop it from leaking petrol because it was leaking petrol quite bad because I went went to pick this car well when I went to try and get the car going the she said I phoned her up to say I'm on my way over now and she said oh I've tried to have a go, go at getting it going me and my boyfriend and the starter motor is clicking so I thought right I'll take a brand new battery with me fully charged just in case because they've been jump starting it which is not very good if a car hadn't been used for a long time and uh, I put my battery on her and it just went click 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 so they literally killed the starter motor I reckon by doing all this and that's probably where the dynamo shot as well and stuff like that uh, so what I'd done was I um, tapped it on the top the starter motor with a hammer and she started turning over but she was very slow turning over so I took the spark plugs out I checked to make sure we had all spark and um, we had all spark so that was fine so I sprayed some WD-40 down the pistons you know down the bores lubricate the pistons up a little bit then I just left it the battery on there cranking it over and it started we were starting to free up and it was starting to go faster and faster the engine was starting to turn over a lot quicker and the we were getting a lovely spark petrol was coming up straight away to the pump and straight away up to the carburetor so there was no problem with any of that so I knew straight away she was willing to go it was just the starter motor giving her trouble so I thought right I'll put the spark plugs back in put all the spark plugs back in put the cap back on went to turn the key and she's cranking over really really slow like like you had a really bad flat battery and all of a sudden the starter motor gave up the ghost again and just went click 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 so I tapped it again a couple of times and we'd get the engine turned over it was just so slow it wasn't enough to get it to fire up straight away so which was quite a shame so I thought well I'm gonna leave it there because the time was going down I mean it was getting dark I mean it was I only had about an hours play on it and um, I left it for a couple of days because I wanted to see how much bits were and see if not if it was a good idea to get this car or not because I really do like Maxis and uh, knowing it was close to home I thought you know I can't let the opportunity die really I mean I've got to have this car so and had really good history with it um, it's only about I think it's about four or five owners are new which you know to me I reckon is really good for a maxi and um, then I phoned her back up in a couple of days time and said oh, I'll just tow the car home and she said oh no I've got the start motor done I went and had the start motor done at a cost of like nearly a hundred pound and uh, well that added up onto the price of the car so and then she said come on over so I come over expecting to like to put it on for her and fix it all up but she's got the starter motor on her, her and her boyfriend's got the car going and it sounded all right and I thought yeah it sounds all okay and they've been trying to 
free the clutch up on it. I said, well, you can't free the clutch up on it when the hydraulic, there's hydraulic clutch and the seals are gone in it. It's all perished and fluid's leaking out and, and the cap was all broken on the top and the, the fluid inside was all horrible, like rusty, watery colour. It didn't even look like proper brake fluid in there, to be honest with you. It was more water than anything. Uh, so that was that. So she said, you you know, you want the car or not? And I said, well, yeah, I want the car. I love the car. I just got to find a way of getting a home. And um, lucky enough, a local guy, which was local to where we live, he looked up and said, I'll, I'll bring it home for you for a few quid. So I paid for the car and he picked up the next day for me, so which was brilliant. And that's when, well, you've seen it in part one where it's coming off the trailer and stuff like that. So it was cool. Absolutely cool. So we know the engine runs, uh, she sounds all okay on the engine. We just got to see if we got clutch and I expect that clutch is frozen big time to that flight wheel. So I'm hoping I can just free it up in gear, you know, cranking it over on the starter and it hopefully free up. If it doesn't, then I'm going to have to take all that apart, which is going to be a problem. Well, not really a problem. It's just a pain in the ass job, isn't it? If you know yourself and um yeah well we'll get it done anyway it's all going to be done i mean all lots of work is going to go into it. i mean all this stupid stuff i mean all this will come off be painted put back on again like the air box and everything like that. So, and the radiator will all be took off painted cleaned out checked to make sure there's no leaks get it all pressurized and uh yeah we'll go from there we want to get the engine bay all done first so i got that welding up there to do in that corner so you'll see me doing some welding and um yeah well you know i'm looking forward to it it's just as long as we got you know the weather stays off i mean it's quite blue at the moment we've got some dark clouds coming over so i'm just going to put the fluid in there now let it settle and uh, hopefully somebody's going to come home i'm hoping he'll come home actually then give me and bleed this clutch um if not i'm going to be stuck for a couple of days i think <laughs> till somebody can help me um anyway i'm going to end it there I know it's only a short little video, me rabbiting on again, but you can see we've got the massive cylinder done and when you know we've got a new good starter motor, the only thing I've got to get is a, the right battery to fit because the battery I got is too big and won't fit in there. But um, everything else fits, uh, sorry, everything works. The only thing that doesn't work is the headlight switch. I got to get a new headlight switch and they're very expensive on eBay and they're very expensive for second hand ones with all the chrome around the edge and gone and you can't even tell if it's a headlight one or not because uh, the markings here have, have all gone so you can't see anything. This one's completely broke. So, and then we'll take all this dashboard out and re-chrome around here again on the edges and uh, all around here with the switches if I get a second hand one or a new one so I get all that done and um, yeah I mean all this to come off and be painted back up because it's got like surface rust on it so we get all that done and uh, I've got to find ooh, I've got to find some of these toward or these up I've got one there but I don't have one on the other side so I've got to find some of them they're getting a bit brittle so I've got to find some of those. Uh, see. Not very, not very light in here. But that's what I've got to find some of those. Uh, but like I said, everything works. Indicators all work. Wipers all came back to life once we got the car started up. But I thought, knowing that she's been stood outside in all winds and weathers for ten years, she's well, she's a survivor really. I mean, she's done well. So. You know, there's some more bits and pieces I've got to do on the car, which I'll get round to doing. Um, yeah, anyway, less of me chit-chatting. So this, like I said, this will probably be the last video now for the moment until we get some parts come through. Hopefully they'll be here soon, in a matter of a couple of days, hopefully. So we've got a new set of brushes coming for the dynamo, plus the springs so you'll see me actually put the dynamo back together and uh yeah all fun and games on that one and there is one of these mirrors on ebay actually which i'm thinking about getting but in trouble is it's quite expensive it's a second hand one but it's quite expensive how much do you want for it but i'll probably get it anyway 
don't want to one for the passenger side because I'd feel lost without a mirror on the other side. Um, right, so that's it. I'm going to end it there. It's because I'm chatting on again. So thank you very much for everybody who subscribed. Keep subscribing and we'll keep you updated on bits and pieces of what get done on the old Maxi. Um, I'm just sorry I didn't get to film me putting that on. I mean, it took about half an hour. That was about it. Really, probably less than that. And it's fitted, done. So I'll... Um, well, that'd be it. So, ta-ta for now. Bye-bye. Okay, everybody. I know I said it's finished, but I just thought I'd take a gamble. I loosened the bleed nipple myself and pumped it through. And the fluid shot out straight away. And I quickly ran round looking at this chicken, tightened it up. And I've got a, a bit of a clutch pedal. I mean, I can literally see when I stick my head out the door all together and long-legged I am, sort of. I can see the rod moving, so I have got some sort of clutch. But uh, that's about it for a minute. But um, it could do a bit more bleeding up properly. So I'm just going to hang on and see if if young one does come in. But uh, if he doesn't, then I'll have to do it another day. Because uh, I'm hoping the dynamo parts are going to come. Because I don't really want to try starting it at the moment because I've got the fan belt just rest in there for a moment so anyway that's it so ta-ta for now bye bye